guys and welcome to Bangkok, Thailand. Today we are going to show you the best thing you can do in this city. One of the craziest cities in Southeast Asia. We arrived two days ago and we're sleeping in an apartment that we rented for $40 a night. We are going to show you later on in this video. But now let's focus on the best thing we can do in the best attractions. And uh, we're now in Chinatown. And we're going to the Grand Palace first. Let's go. Finally made it to the Grand Palace. It is so hot here. We're about on 37, 38 degrees Celsius. It's crazy. So if you come into the Grand Palace, you have to know that you have to be covered. So these are the rules. And uh, the entrance is also 500 baht per person, which is reasonable. The palace is extremely beautiful. You will see many people like you see now. People everywhere. Tourists, just like us, or travelers as you want to call them. So the temple of the recline in Buddha, which is one of the main things you have to do in Bangkok while well, you're in the city center actually. So let's see. We finally got it to, into what for the temple of the recline in Buddha. So the entrance fee is 200 baht and they also give you a bottle of drinking water, which is very good. So if you're coming to Bangkok, you want to visit both the, the royal palace and Wat Po, we advise you to uh, take some cash. The entrance, as I told you before, is 500 baht for the uh, for the Grand Palace and 200 baht for the, the Temple of the Reclaimed Buddha. <laughs> lunch in this home cafe Tatian. in my opinion this is a must do for the food in Bangkok I mean great food good prices and in central location so perfect 100% recommended right now we're going back at the apartment getting some rest and then tonight we're going out in Chinatown see you later Alright guys, so we had a rest in our apartment and it's currently 10, 10 p.m. and we're going to explore a little bit Chinatown. So we, we checked online and there's apparently a huge street food market and then we're going to visit a hotel with a rooftop bar. Let's go, let's start going. <laughs> Enough street food for today, so we decided to come to this restaurant which is called the Jumbo, Jum, Jumbo Lobster which is located right in the middle of Yao Barat. And we wanted some actual food. And you can see here we have, uh, what is that? Noodles with mixed seafood, prawns with asparagus, rice, coconut and orange. Guys, this is so good. So I have prawns with asparagus and rice. And it's excellent. Fresh seafood, excellent. You have to come to these places. A must. That dinner was lovely, but in the meantime, it started to rain. Now, seems like it stopped for a few minutes. Uh, right now, we're going to the um, to the Hotel Princess rooftop bar, which I really wanted to check out because they say it's really nice. So let's see. <laughs> So 
bad news the rooftop bar yesterday was closed because it closed at 11 so unfortunately we couldn't make it um so yeah we woke up this morning and i wanted to show you a little bit the apartment because this is what you will get for 30 dollars a night in chinatown so uh this is the apartment so that's the entrance this is a bathroom so you have the shower with the toilet all together we don't have a proper sink to to wash our dishes so basically we have to wash them inside the, the sink of the bathroom uh, this is the actual room you can see we have a fan here and we have the aircon over there and the tv we have a mini temple inside our house and the armchair extra feature the view on the beautiful temple there is one thing to mention here is that in thailand they don't have uber so the alternative version of uber is grab taxi and they have very cheap prices but if you want to have an authentic experience you can negotiate the price with the tuk tuk so for example right now we are going from our apartment to the Golden Mount Temple and we're spending only a hundred baht so the grab costed us around 85 90 baht and the tuk-tuk 100 but it's a good compromise because you can have an authentic experience beautiful so the entrance face 50, 50 baht which is one dollar and fifty cents to tell you a little bit about the story so basically Jim Thompson was uh, an American expert here in Thailand and he built a company of silk textile he had a great success and thanks to his company he was awarded the order of the white elephant which is basically a trophy that is given to foreigners coming to Thailand and are giving an exceptional service to the country but unfortunately in 1960 he died in Malaysia and because of, the, of his death his house was given to the, the city of Bangkok and basically every year there are thousands and thousands of people visiting, uh, visiting his house so the entrance fee is 200 baht, baht per person which is around six dollars let's go a little bit around to see and then we're going back to the apartment have a shower before uh, our dinner cruise tonight I'm a bit gutted because uh, I went into the Jim Thompson house and basically we started to visit the house blah 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 and then at some point say okay uh, so basically you cannot enter the house yourself you have to get inside with the tour guide uh, which is increasing the price so that's a good thing but uh, we got to these uh, lockers and say okay 
um, take off your shoes and leave here all your stuff. I say, well, can I take at least my my camera to film inside? No, 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 no photo, no video inside. So I could not show you anything from inside, unfortunately. Uh, but I really recommend it. It's 200 baht the entrance, including the tour guide. It's really worth it. Really beautiful, very authentic. Uh, so yeah, so we've taken the taxi and we're now back at the apartment and uh, we're gonna get out again in one hour to get uh, to the dinner cruise we had a shower, we got changed and now we're going to have a dinner on the cruise so basically I will write down the name of the cruise so that if you're interested you can go as well right now we're on a tuk-tuk and it's driving like crazy which we like <laughs> and the price for this dinner was uh, around $60 so $30 per person is not too bad, it's not too bad made it to the boat there are so many people this boat is huge and basically there's an international buffet so you don't only have Thai food you have food from all around the world This was probably the best board ride I've ever did in my life. Amazing, exceptional. You have to do it. I will leave the, the link in the description below so you can you can do it yourself. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the 48 hours in Bangkok. This was the best of the best that you can do when you visit the city. So I hope it was useful for you. Restaurant, temples, best places to visit. I've made it all for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then click on the subscribe button and see you for the next one. Cheers, guys. Oh, 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 oh,